Hello, my name is Daniel Sauerwein. I'm a reference specialist here in the State Archives at the State Historical Society of North Dakota. With the upcoming 145th anniversary of the Battle of the Little Bighorn at the end of the month, I wanted to talk to you today about some of the sources we have related to that battle, as well as more broadly, materials we have here at the State Archives on the broader conflict with Native Americans during the last quarter of the 19th century. So this is the front page of the Bismarck Tribune, dated July 6th, 1876. And this is the first word getting back to Bismarck. Here at the top says, first account of the Custer Massacre. And it's an extra edition of the Tribune. This event, unfortunately, was one of those events that really propelled the Bismarck Tribune as a paper. We have Mark Kellogg's diary, who was a reporter with the Bismarck Tribune that followed Custer from Fort Abraham Lincoln to the battlefield and actually did not survive the battle. His diary is housed here and is actually digitized and available for people to view online. We have examples of cataloged maps from our collection. One is of the Custer Trail, which was the trail the 7th Cavalry took from Fort Abraham Lincoln out to the battlefield site at Little Bighorn. And the other is actually a hand-drawn map of the native village that they encountered. Another example from our collections is by a soldier in Company F of the 7th Cavalry, Peter Thompson, who put down his memoirs, The Experiences of a Private Soldier in the Custer Massacre. And it's a typescript of his reminiscence of the battle and time in the 7th Cavalry. So this is one of our microfilm resources. This is the field notebook uh, that General Alfred Terry carried with him during the campaign. Uh, he was Custer's superior at that time, and he was in charge of the overall operation that led to the Little Bighorn Battle. He documented troop movements and other happenings along the trail. In addition to our manuscript collections, microfilm resources, digitized items, and maps, we also have books that deal with the Battle of Little Bighorn and the broader campaign that it was part of. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the resources we have related to the Battle of the Little Bighorn, visit us at history.nd.gov archives.